helping all of those who ask for it, however big or small. Today, we are going to talk with Jackie Allen, and Jackie is the trustee, a treasurer, and admin manager of Shirley's Space, uh, a very local charity. Um, why are we having this interview? Because I'm the founder of Neslib, which is Northeast Scotland Ladies and Lads in Business, and one of our key areas is really to give back. Um, our members do different activities and um, shows are live on Facebook and we raise money for really, really local charities um, that are absolutely just changing people's lives so and making a big difference in the community. So today uh, we're speaking to Jackie Allen. So Jackie, welcome. Um, Hi, Anne. thanks for having me. Not a problem. So um, Shirley Space, let's get a little bit of history uh, a little bit of the now and then a little bit of what's what's going to be going on as well and coming up in the future. So give us some a little bit of background so everybody can know more about Shirley Space. Absolutely. So Shirley Space is a mental health charity and it was founded in August 2019 um, after a local family were bereaved by a sudden suicide of their auntie. Um, and they really found a gap in the market. So for mental health, there's not so many places that you can go easily like you can if you break a bone for physical health. So the family really found a gap in the market and were like, well, we need to change this because if somebody could have helped Shirley, then we might not be facing what we're facing today. Uh, so they went and looked um, and there wasn't you know, much out there. So they decided to create a hub, a safe space for people to go who were not feeling 100%, who need, just needed a little bit of support and guidance, or just somebody out with the family unit or friendship group to listen. And that is how Shirley Space was founded. Okay, so um, I mean, we can, you know, there's really serious mental health. And then there's just, you know, a, a creating awareness of mental health. It's not a stigma. You know, I've had depression, I've had mental health issues throughout my lifetime and you know different situations you know um, postnatal depression um, what they call empty nest nest syndrome depression and then I lost my 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 father and you know it's it, it is a mental health you know yeah. and it's not of the you know you're, you've got mental health issues but mental health is a very you know under talked about thing because people yeah. see it as a bad thing you know but um, I think to talk to people, it helped me. Um, you know, I reached out because, you know, I thought, no, I don't, these feelings are not, you know, not where I want to be. So is that, can people do any, you know, any kind of mental health or are you specific? Absolutely. Sport? No, it's, um, so we accommodate and support anybody over the age of 18 for insurance right. purposes. We can't facilitate children, unfortunately, um, but we can support the parents of the children who are suffering. Um, so we have a vast, I mean, a vast range of, um, of visitors coming to see us, we, you know, anything from losing their job, um, to being in debt, to okay. anxiety, depression, grief, to people who are on the edge at breaking point and who have planned their own suicide. Yeah. Um, and like you say, that the, the mental health covers anxiety, just so many words, you know, that are normal words but people feel that it's not a nice conversation to have and I think something like Shirley Spaces is, is amazing and that's why we want to raise more awareness of more local um, smaller places that people can come to instead of having to think well you know I can't go there it's too far reached or something does that make sense is, is that how yeah. you get what you get from people yeah or? I mean we're unique in Aberdeenshire so we have you know there's nothing else like it in the Shire so at the well pre-lockdown obviously our reach we people were coming from inch um wow. and, uh, you know to to Crimmins, which is between peterhead and um is well, that so where your office is based is that so yes, we're in you're in Crimmins. Yeah. Okay. but yeah, your outreach your, your sorry your outreach is quite vast yeah yeah absolutely yeah we're covering the whole of the shire um so yeah pe people are looking for somewhere to go um mm -hmm. and we might be able to provide that service 
Okay, so uh, I guess with uh, all, all the interesting stuff that's going on at the moment, that your premises, you know, may be shut. Is that right? I think we said that. You yeah, were... so we had to close um, the hub. We call it the hub. We had to close the hub, um, obviously, because we couldn't have our open groups and what you know, drop-in centres and things for COVID regulations. Mm -hmm. So what we did do is we um, we changed our text messaging service. So we were um, operating six days a week and we're with our text messaging service, people still had somewhere to go. And then if people are in real crisis um, from that, then we are um, arranging one-on-one -on -one yeah. at the, at the centre. That, that's good to know. So you've got a really good support system out with of everything that's going on. That's fantastic. So um, so the background is great. Thank you for the information. And um, so we we don't know what's going to happen obviously in the future with, with everything but plans you know for the actual premises or the charity what are you looking to you know what is it you needing help with or yeah. you know because we're yeah, going to pop so, this up on platforms for you so what sure. is it that Shirley Space is maybe needing help with or you know future stuff yeah so the the future vision for Shirley Space is obviously to be operating again from the hub so it's having our um, women's group, men's group, walking groups, um, and uh, you know, drop-in centres, coffee and cake sessions, and just give some you know people who are even are lonely just to give them somewhere to go. Uh, as we will be, we'll be back operating all of those. We're also looking at a perinatal group as well, um, and a veterans group. So we're looking to kind of really extend our services. We are also looking. Well, we are currently supporting the jobs, the local job centres as well. Um, and we're doing some work with the prison, so we're we're kind of looking to um, to continue to help that, and all, and we get asked to do safety talks within um, within companies and businesses to talk to their staff about you know looking after their mental health because mental health is just as important as your physical health, um, and yeah. us there's no difference. Absolutely. So our future is to really um, go back to where we were before COVID and to to give that support to keep. To keep saving lives, to keep help, you know, impacting people's lives, and and just being a safe space for them. Exactly. So um, all that details, obviously, there's a, a lot of people that covers, but just something that resonated with me about companies. You know, people are being furloughed and debt, and you know, you mentioned things like that. So people don't necessarily always, you know, associate mental health with things like that. But you know, that could have an impact at the moment with people. So um company wise you know to help staff is that you know maybe we need to get a message out to see staff well-being as well like you say um so yeah a fantastic fantastic or, organization um so what is there any big asks right now that shirley space would like to do big asks um i mean we've been very very fortunate that um in the first year of operation we've had uh, um, you know amazing support from the local community with funding um, and you know, for people who are doing fundraisers, and we're, we are lucky and fortunate for the donations. Um, and that kind of, we just need to kind of keep that going. We, we we're not covered by any grants. We're not receiving any government grants. We're purely right. operating on um, on donations. Okay. You know, um, local funding is and fundraising, I should say, is. Um, um, I've lost my word. That's okay. <laughs> um, to our operations. <laughs> Not a problem. No, more water. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. Um, well, we'll close. And I did see a post um, that you put up. Do you have a calendar? Is that right? Yes. Yes, yeah. we do. Yes. So we've done, um, we did a bit of a competition. Um, so everyone, because everyone was going out for their walks in lockdown, could go and take a picture of what makes them happy and, you know, give them a happy space. So um, we have done a 2021 calendar, which is, is currently for sale so you can either reach us through our facebook group our website um or um just um they're in the shops and locally peterhead and okay Fraser Brown. Yeah. and how much are the calendars so that we can get the message out there so yes so our calendars are eight pounds excellent eight pounds. what a lovely little christmas gift as well yeah Thanks. great stock of colors excellent okay well listen thank you very much for your time and uh as i say we're you know we're looking to support within neslib um with events and things that we do so to give you a little bit of um help along that big ask as well so thank you for your time today jackie thank you thank you for and, your support. and when we'll, we'll get your details um once we put this out you can 
pop all those details so everybody can get in touch. Fabulous, thank you. Take care, Lamy, bye-bye.